Hello there. All right, so let me get this slideshow presentation started. All right, so uh, my living artist assignment was over Julie Bell. Uh, finding Julie Bell was actually not intentional. When I had first heard about the living artist assignment, I had hoped that my favorite fantasy artist, Frank Franzetta, would still be alive. Um, but unfortunately, I discovered that his death was almost a decade ago. With that information, I set out to find an artist of a similar style. Fortunately, I came across Julie Bell, a modern fantasy artist and former bodybuilder, who in my opinion rivals the best illustrators to date, which is ironic because I found her through her husband's current work. Um, Julie Bell is a fantasy artist and wildlife painter. Julie Bell was born October 21st, 1958 in Beaumont, Texas. She now resides in Pennsylvania, where she shares her studio with her husband, who is also a professional artist, Boris Vallejo. Uh, she has two sons, both of which have taken a steps in their mother's direction as professional artists. Uh, Julie Bell has won numerous awards, such as the Chelsea Awards, Art Renewal Center's International Salon, and has been named a Living Master. For her work in fantasy and imaginative realism. Her work are both in exhibits throughout the U.S. and Europe. Julie says that when I'm painting animals with all their beauty and wild nature, I experience the kind of at-one-with-the-universe feeling described by people who meditate. It's both soothing and exciting, the way nature itself is. I know without a doubt that this is what I am meant to do. Her work has also appeared in hundreds of fantasy book covers, comic books, and collectibles, as well as advertising campaigns, album covers such as Meatloaf's Bat Outta Hell, video game covers, and posters. To this day, uh, Belle and her husband produce 13 paintings a year that are produced by Workman Publishing. I would describe Julie Bell's work as dynamic and surreal. For me, I wished life looked as good as her paintings. As a former bodybuilder, I see that Julie pays a great detail to anatomical proportion, complexion, and dynamic movements. Most of her work that features people and other humanoids show aesthetic musculature and desired anatomical proportion. Her dynamic color and variety of style and each piece can sometimes give the impression that you're looking at separate pieces of art by different artists that had somehow been co cohesively brought together onto one canvas. Some might criticize this aspect of her work, but to me, this seems intentional and creative. If I could finance to purchase all of her work to adorn the walls of my house, I would. Thank <laughs> you.